to replace or clean the catalyst, the catalytic combustor in your fire. If you 205, at the end of a long burn or when the stove is cooled down, simply lift the lid, let it tilt back in its little hinge position. This is your catalyst. If you have a stainless catalyst, you might still have shipping bolts. Um, anchoring it down, remove those bolts. If you have the old style cast iron frame, it may have, it may not have its bolts anymore. That's fine. Either way, you're going to lift the catalyst up and out of its space. You're going to give it a vacuum and a brush off. If you need to give a stainless catalyst a thorough cleaning, a 50-50 solution of white vinegar and distilled water in a spray bottle. Spray the top and the bottom. Let it drain over a paper towel or a newspaper. Rinse it with distilled water. Make sure that your honeycomb is all clear of any ash or soot. Set it back in the stove on top of its gasket. If you have a stainless combustor without the cast iron frame, you will take the shipping bolts and just snug them down. They just need to be finger tightened just to anchor the catalyst to the gasket and give a secure seal. And close the lid of your stove. We're going to go over how to clean your catalytic combustor once you've removed it from your stove. This particular one is for the ideal steel, but you can see here's the one for the absolute steel. This round one is in the survival stove. This is for the progress, the keystone palladian, the fire view, and a classic or fire view 201. Basically, they're all the same method. You um, have three options for most of the catalysts a light soft brush, this is just a, a soft paint brush from the hardware store, um, a vacuum, a shop vac, or with the stainless steel models you can use a 50-50 solution and a spray bottle of white vinegar and distilled water. Once your catalyst is out, you can look through it, see how, the, how much ash is in the little honeycomb. You can give it a simple brush off, back in the front, look through it, make sure that you can see through it, all the way through all the honeycomb so that when the smoke passes through there aren't any obstructions. If there is ash that is a little bit harder to get out, you can certainly use a shop vac, give it just a light vacuuming front and back, take a look again, see if you've removed all the ash from the honeycomb. If there's still ash that is baked on or glazed on on the inside, Take a 50-50 solution of white vinegar and distilled water. Simply put it in a household spray bottle. Spray the top and the bottom with the solution. Let it drain over a paper towel or newspaper. Then take distilled water, rinse it with distilled water, pat it dry, and you're ready to put it back in the stove. You may want to check it again, make sure everything is clear, and then it's ready to put back in the stove.